Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Twin Peaks Season 2, Episode 6. If you are new on my channel, you don't know it, but I'm binge watching Twin Peaks. I've binge watched all of the season 1. Now I'm beginning the season 2. If you want to see all of my reaction videos for Twin Peaks, I'm gonna put the link for the playlist that I made for it right there into the eye if you are on YouTube. If you are on Patreon, you have also that system of playlist, you know, with the collections on Patreon and you're gonna have all of my reaction videos also made for Twin Peaks. And yes, I thought about it, you know, <laughs> for sure Twin Peaks, it's a show which was out a long time ago. So to get people, you know, to discover my channel for it, like it's not that easy, but I know also that a lot of people, you know, are fans of Twin Peaks. So maybe I should tell you guys, I don't know how to say it. Like if you're a fan of Twin Peaks, like if you're participating to Reddit things or stuff like that about Twin Peaks, maybe, you know, <laughs> help this girl to, to have people from Twin Peaks, from that fandom, you know, to discover me. If you can share my videos with them, like if you're a part of that community of fans, like I really have the impression that for now I didn't reach fans of Twin Peaks. You know, I have my viewers, I love all of you guys for sure, I love all of you, but I have my viewers who really appreciate Twin Peaks, so they are watching it again with me. But I have the impression that for now people who really love Twin Peaks, they didn't discover my videos yet. So I'm really like, maybe I should do something about it. Like maybe I should find myself a Reddit talking about it, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought about it, you know, maybe if you're one of them, if you found my channel, but I really don't know how because I'm shadow banned by YouTube since more than one year now. So if <laughs> you're a member of that community, you can help this girl, you know, to, to reach more fans of Twin Peaks, really. I would be glad to meet that community of fans. You know, when I began to binge watch The Expanse, for sure, The Expanse, I'm gonna say it again and again, that's the best community of fans <laughs> ever that I met with this channel. I love you guys, the Screaming Firehawks, like so much. And really, for the other communities, I saw that it took sometimes each time for community of fans to discover that I was reacting to this show also like right there for Twin Peaks it's really taking more time so I'm wondering about it. Bon. That being said, <laughs> that's it. We're gonna watch this episode of Twin Peaks right now. I'm so glad that we managed to release Audrey because I was really beginning to be afraid for her when clearly at the beginning, I was like, oh no, I'm not afraid at all, that's it. They know that she's the daughter of the boss, so everything is gonna be okay. No, no, it was worst. They were using her as a blackmailing situation, you know? They drugged her. They killed someone in front of her. They really, a lot of bad things happened. So I'm so glad that finally, Cooper and Harry, they managed to release her. It didn't happen so well, like there were threatened and Hawk intervened to save them, that it was so cool, but Blackie died. I mean, Harry saw the Rono brother, I can't remember his name, you know, each of their names of the Rono brothers, I can't remember them. He saw him killing Blackie, so, you know, I'm wondering about what he's gonna do about it, because he's... A police guy so he's supposed to do something about it but at the same time can you justify the fact that he entered into that prostitution house just like that to release a girl who was kidnapped but he didn't talk about it to the authorities he did that on his own with a friend an fbi agent i'm wondering what he can do about it truly we'll see no matter what she's out 
Benjamin, his father, knows that she's out, not because Cooper told him, but because of the fact that Hank called him because he was keeping an eye on Cooper. Hank was surprised by one of the Renault brothers, the same one who killed Blackie. He doesn't know his real identity, he thinks that he's a prosecutor. How long is it gonna last, that lie? I'm not so sure. <laughs> and also, Hank, is he gonna say the truth about the fact that he's working for Benjamin? It could be really bad for him. Benjamin, does he truly care about what can happen to Hank now? I'm not so sure, you know, he was really just a man that he was hiring to do bad stuff, not someone that he truly cares about. So I'm... I'm really like that, you know, about Hank's situation. I'm not sure of what is gonna happen for him. The situation with Donna and Maddie and Harold, I'm not so worried about it. Maybe I should be, but for now I'm not. I don't think that Harold is a killer, that he can be dangerous, violent with them or anything like that. I think that he reacted like that at the end because he felt betrayed for a good reason. But yes, I'm not picturing him as someone violent. And the line that he said, you know, about Laura, for me it was not a confession of the fact that he killed Laura, not at all. It was more his suspicions that Laura knew her killer. Which is also what I think since the beginning, you know, I suspected Dr. Jacoby. Then I had the proof that it can't be him because he thought that Laura could be still alive, so because of that it can't be him. And we had other things like that. And okay, they are suspecting that Bob, that situation and all, but I don't know. For me, it's someone that she knew, really. Maybe someone that we know, and we're gonna discover at the end that it was that person who killed Laura since the beginning. I'm wondering about it. Oh, and we had Lucy who left being mad at Andy, thinking that he can't be the father because of previous tests that the guy did and all. And in fact, he made new tests so he can be the father. He tried to call her and he, he had an abortion clinic on the farm. I'm wondering about it, you know, like I wouldn't be mad at her at all, like if truly she decided to abort, that's her decision, she took that decision for herself, so I'm totally okay with it. But the fact that she did it without really knowing the real information about Andy, about the fact that he can be the father, that it's bothering me. And for sure, when he discovered that Andy about himself, for sure, I began to imagine, oh, maybe they can have this kid together. Like, you know, for sure, I would have appreciated it for them to have that kid. But if it can't be, it can't be. It's like that. I want to have news about that situation, no matter what, during this episode. Please, <laughs> I want to know. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro right now, let's go for this episode. Remember that if you want, you have my Patreon on which you can have a longer reaction part with the level 2 or the full reaction part with the level 3. Everything in full opacity, just one video and you have it sooner. Again, longer reaction part with the level 2, full reaction part from now on, you know, from, since at least three episodes, you have that option to have released a four action part with the level three for Twin Peaks. It's the best way to support me, my Patreon. I'm really a little reactor on YouTube and I'm shadow banned by YouTube since one year now. It's really annoying, but it's like that. So if you want to support me and to have something in exchange, you have my Patreon for that. If you just want to support me just like that, you know, you have the crowdfunding that I'm organizing right now. It's through my PayPal, my usual tip page, but I'm giving you updates about it all along this summer about that crowdfunding. So if you want to support me, you have the Patreon option and you have something in exchange. When you're going to subscribe, it's going to be for the entire month. You're going to have all of my videos for the month. Think about it, if you want to subscribe really for all of Twin Peaks, maybe you should subscribe for the entire year, in fact, and you're gonna have one month offered. I'm saying that because, you know, Twin Peaks, I have all of this season two to discover, but also after that, the season three. So maybe it can be something, you know, that you could be interested by to subscribe for the year and to have that month offered. Okay, and it's only if you want and if you can. Don't put yourself into any difficulty. 
Let's go for this episode. You made me feel I could return to the world and find something decent. He's really feeling betrayed, you must feel like. Contaminated? I knew that you were right there. He saved Maddy. Not Donna, Maddy. After that, he came back for Donna, but you know, it's first instinct, it was mad. Sorry, James. And you're out without the book, the diary. You're taking her right there? You know the hospital or of that? No? Oh, she's gonna fall in love with you even more. James, here's Laura's secret diary. You could have killed her. You could have killed you too. You didn't. Just and Rodney just wanted the diary back. I want to say you tell me exactly what I believe. Do you? It's like if you put our hearts together and just keep them that way forever, you'll be safe no matter what. You and me? You really saw that as a confirmation of your love when for me I saw him grabbing Maddie first. No. Look at this. Life is coming. You might see him before. Drama though. But no. Maddie is still in charge. She runs the northern territories. Gambling. Drugs, extortion, you name. Yep. I went out of my jurisdiction. Twice. I violated my professional code and now Audrey is paying the price. And this isn't the first time my actions brought something to someone I care about in the name of doing what I can do. Damn, I should know better. I was able to free your daughter without the payment. He knows about it already. She was being held at a brothel north of the border known as One Eyed Jacks. You, Martha. It seems the brothel's madam was at least partially responsible for her kidnapping and subsequent life. Did you arrest her? She was killed before I could question her. No. Yes. Murdered by a man named Jean Renaud. This Jean Renaud. Did you catch him? No. Too bad. You're not asking no. about where is she? Where is Audrey? Your daughter is recovering from a drug overdose. As her dad, I would be against that. I would be like, no, I'm her dad, let me see her, I'm taking her back home. Oh, not so much. The cost of healthcare is going to the roof. It's bringing rain. 
You're supposed to get five thousand a month. The medical and maintenance costs and administrative fees. Wait, do you see the results? Mr. Johnson will be more than adequately provided for. Good luck. Was it one sick like the uh huh? Oh no, he's recovering. Um, if he's beginning to talk. I'll try to get someone out there to take a look. But my hands are full. I can't promise you. Excuse me, I'm looking for a Sheriff Harry S. Truman. You found him. I'm looking for a Sheriff Harry S. Truman. Hmm? Excuse me. Federal Bureau of Investigation, Regional Bureau Chief Gordon Cole. I'm Agent Cooper, supervisor. You're talking really loud. Can I speak with you a moment? Sure. Donald. Why are you there? Our bet, maybe? I'm Sheriff Truman. Great. Hey, Dirt. You have to speak up, Sheriff. Hearing's gone. Long story. Got these things cranked up to the max. Agent Cooper's not here right now. Albert Rosenfield will not be coming back, but I've got his lab report right here. I, I want a belt back! Coat was like Cuma. Sounds real good, Sheriff, but I already ate. Also got a lab report from Albert on the one armor Seren combo. Really weird stuff. What else is Albert say? Papers. Papers found near the bloody towel down the train tracks from the crime site. From a diary. There's the one armor now. These fucking stuff and shoes are gonna come off. Mr. Gerard, I need to ask you a few questions. Huh? My office. Right. It's gonna participate? Oh, and she oh, don't that. I'm so worried about you. Who are you? You yes. was, but not enough in my opinion. About the prostitution house? I saw so much. She knows that you own it and she knows that she was used for this blackmail for you. That was not a relationship that she wanted right there, like... One way ticket. Seattle, Hong Kong. The mission is done. I have one more day. See what you could put into your suitcases. We leave tonight. I haven't received my insurance money. And Ben Hall hasn't paid me yet either. I'll wait for this for five years. Okay, you want to finish it. You can't make me. Oh, maybe more than that, like she's really against him, right there. We had an arrangement. Chef Truman is important to you. You lied to him. But he's important to you nonetheless. The plane leaves at midnight. Be there. That they are twins, it would make sense, you know. Are you gonna leave at some point? Ah. You were sweet, Menzi. And she helped us a lot. <laughs> 